Hi, and welcome back to Disco Elysium, where we just had the d disastrous bloodbath uh, that left us crippled. Great. Um, I did do a thing in between these episodes as I looked up whether I did something wrong with the armor that I got shot and I, I thought I did let it happen because I thought they would shoot the armor but that's not an option so uh, I think I got the if I looked at that upright I got the best possible outcome because of the people that could die there are also uh, Lizzie could die Titus could die Kim could die I will be getting shot every time. There's different uh, different options of what part of me got shot. So I can get shot in the foot, but there would be the armor in my case. So that's why I got the the uh, the leg shot. And the last reaction speed thing uh, is the thing that you're not supposed to be able to uh, survive. So I think she will then shoot two bullets in the second one will uh, hit you. And you can screw up so hard, and I think I got the best possible outcome. I saw a little spoiler on who replaces Kim as my companion if I screw that up. And that's the thing that I might want to try in a second playthrough to, to let Kim die there. Uh, but uh, maybe, maybe I'm not doing that. But it's a, a great thing to think about. So... I, th I thought I screwed up, but I did achieve the best possible outcome. By the way, let's put my ledger back in my hand. So, let's read his ledger. Half-finished paperwork. These papers bear the stamp of the RCM. They appear to be fragments of the lieutenant's paperwork. Half-finished. You make out notes on this and other recent cases. I had God opened the door to your room. You were running a low bacteria fever the first night. Thank you for keeping this thing alive a little longer. It would have been easy where it's not for my concussion. We both got lucky. Were it not for my concussion. That's not that's the wrong where. Were it not for my concussion. We both got lucky considering the odds we faced. Yeah, he's got a concussion. He could die. Yeah? One possible outcome is, is him him getting deaded. I can't open the front door. I have to go the other side. Did I get a new tape player? The stereo 8 player has been reunited with a, with his its right speaker. Yep. I think they were playing the the uh, saint Sion thing. Newly replaced glass shining in the morning light. You hear traffic outside. Back in the world again. So I assume we still have to find... Uh, the culprit. Because I'm not sure that it was one of them, because I misidentified Classia as one of the, the three mercs, because she looked really the same, but she wasn't the same. The glass has, has a... Did you see that? Outside on the balcony, the glass had a... Uh, has shot through it. If I remember, I'll be uh, putting uh, a thing inside, a, a red circle around it, so you can see it and to zoom. Wait a second, I have to take this call. Okay, uh, call dead with, uh, let's see about this shivers thing. Ouch, that leg, hur leg hurts, that's pain flash, sorry. Maybe if you don't run, it will be okay. Let's run. I want to see what happens if I run. Looks like she left something on the table. Next to stack of stacks of bills, you see a note, a few lines jotted down, a large uneven handwriting just as the writer was about to rush out the door. I'm sorry I fucked everyone over. P.S. I didn't kill him. Gift, P.P.S. Gift upstairs. A gift? The lieutenant turns to the staircase suspiciously, looking for any signs of another presence in the shadows above. What could this gift be? I'm not drawing my gun yet. 
But I don't like gifts. He says he's not, but his hand moves instantly towards his holster as she studies the note. Relax, not everyone is out to trap you. Seems she left in a hurry. It's hardly surprising. Why do I have two bu bullets? He did shoot her. Did she, she left? If new. Pity. I was kind of hoping the gift would be in here. I always took you for more of a drunk than a chemical abuser. Should we go? She really cleaned this out. Hmm. She certainly had her priorities straight when she was packing. Yeah, it was not that I, I didn't want to make drugs. Can I normally talk to you? Yes. Oh. I was hoping for something more. Let's see what the gift is. I think something about the attacker. Not here, though. A red thread made of nylon. It leads out the room onto the roof. You see the same two neon lit shapes, a man and a woman. Only know a red thread bisects the room, pointing from the antenna outside to the cupboard on the wall. This is ballistics. She left a trajectory for us. Lieutenant tested the thread with his fingers, drawn short, it rebounds instantly. A ray of backward motion exp explodes from his mouth through the roof outside, A prime, then to widen it into a radius of locations. Where does the thread lead? It suggests the bullet came from the extreme upper quadrant of pro possible angles from a point beyond the roof, B stars, uh, B. St How do you say that? B prime, prime, prime? Something like that? The island in the bay. Is she trying to tell us the shot came from the eyelet? Unless she thinks the perpetrator was standing on the ring antenna, that is where the threat seems to point. There are runes on that eyelet, a sunken sea foot I saw through the coin operator we view, operated viewer. I remember. How did she know how to do, to do this? There was, she was there that night. She would have known precisely where the bullet hole was in the glass. She had a long time to think about it after, standing on that roof, staring at the glass. It's also like there may be more to her skill set than we know. The question is, should we trust her? This is her way of saying she's sorry. I find that hard to believe. But at this point, what difference does it, does it make? This is also the only point of origin we haven't all ruled out yet. So it is. For a second, he seems tired. You seem unenthusiastic. I just haven't gotten a lot of sleep these past few days. He doesn't really believe this will yet anything. Maybe we need to go to the island. The wind blows in from the open window. The lieutenant sighs, looking into the cold distance across the water. He's trying to justify it to himself. There, across the grey water amidst crumbling concrete, a birch tree, and the half-sunken ruins of a flag tower. I don't have anything to say. That this is just something we have to do, Kim. I understand. I remember an anti-aircraft gun or the runes of one on the island from the coin-operated view. Could be the making of a sniper's nest. Why not? Military fortifications are made for that kind of thing. I'm going to the island. Are you in? Of course. Of course I'm in. How do we get there? Joyce Messier at her sloop, but she's gone. Lillian, the net picker, she's towering her boat. Ah, yes, of course, the village. Let's go. I'm still not having all of the armor pieces. I haven't found the weapon. I haven't determined where the shit, uh, shoot come, a shot came from, but I can now. That's the thing with interfacing, which I'm not good at. And we have to call my station. We have to call my station. That's the most important thing we get out of that. Out of that journey. And the harbor is supposed to be locked up. So that means that Measurehead won't be there. And there was a chest behind Me Me Measurehead, if I saw that right. The thread is tied to the antenna. Nice of her to show us this. Why does... Clicking tap might make that go weird. Wait, 
the footprints again. Huh. Yeah, the footprints didn't match, match up with Ruby. That was one of the two things why, did, why I didn't uh, suspect Ruby that strongly as my, my character did. Where are my guys? Why are my police colleagues not here? Let's talk to guard. Oh, you're up. It's good to see you back on your feet. Did you like your room? I cleaned it for you. I did. Thank you. Big improvement. You're welcome. I thought it would be nice for you to wake up in a clean place after you, let's be fair, defended this establishment in its clear tale from gunfire. I give credit where credit is due and that was a crazy move, crazy effect of petroleum bomb. Never seen anything like that. I was there until it struck him. Crawled inside then. Crawled inside then. Bullets started flying. Anyway. He really wants you to realize that he was also on the balcony looking by, in the danger zone, so to say. I wish you a quick recovery also. You and your partner are staying here, for, uh, staying here free now. This establishment supports cops. The stay is free, the drinks are not. Just f felt I needed to specify that. Where did everyone go? Oh, you know, people don't tend to stick around after shootouts. Turns out they're not good for business. What happened to the man with the sunglasses? I don't remember everyone who comes here. Uh, many people wear sunglasses inside lately. Must be a fad. <laughs> He's referring to me. Okay, so I have to mention, when it happened, you were right out there, on the balcony. Yeah, I was. That's because I'm a badass. It really took courage. Don't pick at him. <laughs> if you say it as two different words like that, it sounds like there's something wrong with your ass. Yeah, I guess you're a badass. Yeah, I don't know. Clients were panicking and also I guess I sort of found out that I don't give a sh shit if I die. He means it, means it. He's not just boasting. It's something he discovered about himself stepping onto that balcony. Thanks. No problem. They'll come back. They always do. The, the customers, I think. Smoker guy. Titus! Nothing to say, Smoker? You guy, down there, who always had one generic comment. It's all about money, you know? Yeah, so <laughs> not all about money. I can talk to two of these, okay? Yeah, you lost three. That's the best count you can get. Seeing you approach, the bruised man raises his... Uh, ra seeing you approach, the bruised man raises his being well. Crazy motherfucker! Didn't think you had that fury in you, but I guess I've misjudged a lot of people lately. There I was, thinking, where are we going to find a tin opener large enough for those cans? Then Copo Loco shows up and just sets a man on fire. Impressive shit, Copper. None of us would be breathing right now if it wasn't for... I guess what I'm trying to say here is thank you. This is big. It's as big of a thank you as Titus Hardy can master under any circumstances. I super starved the shit out of that. Not in silence. No need to thank me, I'm just doing my job. Well, she is anyway, copper. I'm sorry about the people you lost. Theo was old, I think he'd be pretty happy with the way he went. Never could imagine him withering away on a sickbed. But Angus, he was just a stupid kid, didn't realize the mess he'd gotten into. Trusted me, still the balls on that kid, went down fighting for someone else's shit like a fat angry bear. Here it comes, the last one is the worst one. He only deals with it by drinking copious amounts of 8% beer. And Glenn, Glenn was my friend. Best I've ever had. I loved that crazy homo like my own brother. We all fucked without him. But what do you do? This, this shop is shit. Yeah. There's, there's one missing here, the old one. Uh, the one where, uh, with a coarse voice. Hold on, where's that shanky fella? Dennis, that poor little rat is dead too. Oh, four, did we have four death? Oh, we had four death. That's not good. So that's not a maximum outcome, okay. 
That poor little rat is dead too. I always thought he had run, but no, he stayed, stupid brave fella. You didn't like him, that only makes it worse. They were good people. I'm sorry it went like that. Well, yeah, Memento Mori, right? Totally, totally. Absolutely. Today I'm going to get drunk, I'll eat good food and bet a good-looking gal, cause tomorrow a motor carriage might run me over. Or you might die of a heart failure or syphilis. Hey, yeah, fuck you for ruining a beautiful idea. What's going to happen to the Hardy Boys now? I guess I'll take a closer look at our union members. There's bound to be some ambitious fellows there who would love nothing more than advancing social democracy by busting some heads. Might even ask Tips if he's tired of replacing Windows and maybe wants to have some fun with his brother. Anyway, don't you worry, as long as Titus Hardy is standing, there will be the Hardy Boys. And they're doing a good job policing this uh, district. Do you know what happened to class here? Don't know, don't care, I'll be glad if I never see that fucking woman again. After Even after all the hell, he's still bitter about her. Bitter about her. Titus, after all we've been through, level with me. You really liked her, didn't you? Nope. He did. Same here, man. He shrugs and tries to look uninterested. Any idea what I should do now? Judging by the sight of you, I just suggest I would suggest crawling into bed with a bottle of whiskey in one hand and a big tit in the other. Yeah, go pay Monica a visit in Jamrock. She's got a knack for making men forget about their worries. Biggest pair of milkers in all of Revishal. Uh, you both look like you could use some feminine company right now. Thank you for your advice, Eugene, and you to you, Elaine. I do always appreciate a good use of the expression milkers. You're welcome, Binoclart. You're right in my book. So long, fellas. Be good that is so I don't have to come back here again. Take care, couples. You two look after yourselves now. Death passed on you today, but men don't get that lucky twice. He nods to you and then to the lieutenant. Couple locker, and they are normal cup, I guess. Good luck in Jamrock. Scars make the best tattoos, they say. Thanks for getting involved, guys. Not a lot of cops would step in that line of fire, but you did. And if you ever feel like the uniform is holding you back, I've got a few vacancies. You'd make one hard hardy boy copper. And Titus Hardy himself would make a good officer. That man was born to lead. The RCM could really use a man like you, Titus. Think about it. I will, copper. That's a promise. Now scoot, cause the hardy boy's got some morning and drinking to do. Take easy on the drink. The danger has not passed. The town needs you on your feet. Good point, Binoclad. We'll keep the wall under 12% tonight. And I could speak to this one. Hey, it's you again. I've been thinking about it, and you know, okay, three cops. Me, you, and your little friend here. The city's big enough for two cops. Okay, three cops. Me, you, and your little friend here. Okay. That's Titus, and that's Titus. Hey, it's you. Okay, three cops. Double Titus, huh? Hey, it's okay. <laughs> Double Titus. <clears throat> Un jour. Je serai de retour press de toy. What? What? Un jour. Je serai. Je is I am. Serai whatever. De retour. Return. Pre de toy. A, I have my encyclopedia to uh, translate for me. One day I will return. One day I will return to your side. The graffiti has been painted over the traces of the fight that took place. It smells of blood and heavy fuel oil. This was Sydney the Skull. Looks like Sydney the Skull finally found, found the words for a masterpiece. The lieutenant crouches, touching the fuel oil with his fingers. Looks like it, yes. Is it still fresh? It wasn't here yesterday, and it's getting washed away now. I smell heavy fuel oil, and blood, some of it is even yours. Mm -hmm. Heavy fuel oil isn't that flammable. What are you trying to imply at fingers? 
You could buy some smokes, light up a ciggy and throw it in there. You know, just to see what happens. See if it's flammable. It's better that way, safer. Let's get a ciggy then. Let's go to... Let's go to the other place over here. Racist lorry man is gone. Let's buy some ziggies. I need ziggies because uh, you can't get a lighter as a tool, which is bullshit. Hey, I have one glass, glass bottle of tear. I'm ignoring the rest of that for now. Uh, Frit. Girl, do you have um, something? Nope. You don't. A colorful display of cigarettes and alcohol bottles line the sh lines the shop wall. I take the Astra cigarettes. And I'm not taking the pale aged vodka. What it says on the can. <laughs> These ground-made cigarettes are remarkable for their high tar content. A favorite of fishermen, police officers and working men the world over. I have not taken drugs till now and I'm not gonna take... Wait. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I have to go in again. Oh, don't load so long. I have to go in again. That one. I want to have that bean plus uh, nine plus two, so I'm buying this one. Okay, so I have eleven charges of health up too. Hey, I slept. Why didn't I hear? <laughs> Whatever. Rather sure. Oranje Klasje. I'm pretty sure about that pronunciations with Oranje and Klasje because I know how. What the fuck's going on here? I know how uh, Dutch works. What is that? Ah, that's... Ah, okay. The boyadeo stares at you with this respect and gestures towards the trickers of blood adorning your clothes. Danger comes with a boyadeo lifestyle, right? There are types of danger. The one I'm usually concerned with is lung cancer or getting ma mauled by wildlife, not bullets. It goes back to an older era where this was commonplace, though. You have a true boyadero heart. Right, where's everyone? Hiding, gathering themselves. Their harbors in full lockdown, friend. No getting in or out for the time being. You can't help me get inside? No, man, not today. Today is war. He says meadow factly like it's no big deal. What's going to happen next? Time will tell. I'll tell Everett you've dropped by. I'm sure you'll be glad. That weasel I visited turns out he has one hell of a colonial mug collection. Yeah, the janitor who gave me the key to his apartment said the guy's bit of and shit as not asshole. See how we are all busy concentrating on the racist mugs that what the ruling class was. <laughs> a man with such a funny mug collection can't be there. Wow. This mug collection certainly represented antique uh, created social values. Like I said before, I don't know much about him. What will you, do be, you, will you be doing now? I'll be okay here do, doing lookout. Quite the sight, aren't they? The red flags. Getting to like that red I am. Don't worry about me. I'll have to alleviate the worries of our brothers. See if the, any other insane killers turn out. Then I'll run and live. Try not to get shot, eh? I'm sure I'll, I'll be luckier than you, my friend. Yeah, it's locked. And there was a chest below the uh, behind this. Money. Money, nothing else. Okay. Uh, I was hoping for combat armor. Like they had the uh, leggings or maybe the helmet of the of the armor just stashed there. Hey, go inside. He's not inside, he's just gone. Why is the racist man gone? Ah, uh, maybe he disappears the moment Gary comes into town. Uh, 
which is like to imply that uh, they stick around together because they like each other. My man, you're alive. Almost, kind of, sort of alive. Alive and limping. Man, what a day. I missed out on most of the action, but I heard it was quite the encounter. Had a strong sense of finality to it. So what's next? You guys heading back to Ramrock now? Talk is local union muzzle where we are at all. I reckon the case is closed, even if it kind of turned into a shit show. It wasn't the local union muzzle, by the way. Hey, that's just what I say I heard. Old wives tell. So what's next? I'm still looking around. Loose the threads to tie up. Good luck with that, my man. Ain't easy being you, but hey, you're still breathing, all right? I met the lady driver on my investigation. She's called Ruby. Okay. It's wise to share information about the case like this. The good hand throws you a quick glance. What are you doing? I let her go. She didn't do anything. Whoa, good on her. And good on you too, man. my man. That's uh, merciful. Downright merciful. You cops keep exercising that muscle and people will be more willing to cooperate, you know. He's clearly relieved. That's enough sharing details, yeah. I also think that. Let's talk to my precinct. Or to Gaston. Let's talk to Gaston first. Mon dieu, officer. It is worse than I thought. Believe me, I know all about that kind of pain. I've had heat trouble for the past week. Oh, baby, it's time to slow down. Anything I can do to assist you? Goodbye. Is music now turned on or turned off? I'm so second guessing myself always all the time. Pick up the radio. Precinct 57, we've been attacked. I repeat, Lieutenant King Sosuragi, something's wrong. The static is through the speaker. Hello? No reply, only the mindless drone of static coring through the air. It's been this way for a while now. My guess is the Union is listening in on your conver uh, conversation, jamming out for communication to protect themselves from Crowner. It only happens when someone mentions the attack. The rest is unaffected. Our best bet is to carry on like nothing happened. That is, if we don't want us to cut off the cut off the grip to, uh, completely. Isn't that dangerous? No more dangerous than stepping between three armed mercenaries and eight Union men, I hope. I don't like it either, but that's uh, the way it is. The streets seem safe enough to me. If anything, taking out the mercs made things calmer, for now. You can try calling again, just don't mention the trouble, and remember they're listening in. Everything sounds okay, no drumbeat of total war yet, if everything, uh, anything, everything sounds too okay. Okay. That's weird that we got jammed like this after the thing is done. Alice, this is Firewalker. No, please connect me to the Le Lazareth. I've been shot. Ah, it's you. Walking, talking, though. Yes, but Great, how's the drinking going? Re reconnect me to the 31st, please. Juice, I've he heard that some people think of me as a la puta madre, Peone. Do you think I'm corrupted? Sir, ten four, sir. Well, there's been some talk, sir, he says reluctantly. Some talk? What does it even mean there's been some talk? Do they think I'm corrupt or not? I only meant that there's been some talk in the station, that's all, but there's always some talk in the station. You know how officers in Jamrock are. But then again, some of us truly are on the take. It's unfortunate. Over. Now wait. Personal. I'm under orders to give a negative to request for personal information. You mean you can't tell me anything about me? But I'm me. Orders are still orders. Okay. Connect me to Sylvie again. Hey Sylvie, it's the police again. Oh great. Great. Can't tell her that the case is done. 
and Shirin can return to the whirling because I'm leaving now. Okay, light the graffito with a burning cigarette. I'm definitely doing that. Step back, Lieutenant. Set the graffito on fire with a lit cigarette. The fuel oil catches fire immediately with a low hiss. A bright orange flash across the surface of the lettering rain turns to vapor above the burning message mingling with the black smoke. What if the words are not directed at the people of Martinez or even the coalition aerostatics above the city? They're meant for something above even those. You've been policed, Martinez. God, I'm on my way. You have been policed, Martinez. <laughs> That's great. Disco Elysium. The tenant has taken a small step back. He looks at your face, illuminated by the flames, not silently. Then a fire falters. The flames warmed him too. Not all bad, bad, all in a bad way. Let's go to that island. Slowly the flames subside, the fuel burning out. The airsmiths of Mazut and springtime. Let's talk to Cindy if she liked that. I think I've now permanently scotched that into the, into the thing. What's that down there? Edge into the wood, barely visible. Remember the, the rest is also lost to time. <laughs> nice. Uh, is my my thing is there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I wanted to talk to Kuno. I have important tasks to do. I have to talk to Kuno. Uh. I don't want to go back through the apartment building and all that, because I don't think there's much to get from that. But we have to talk to Kuno. Kuno, my man. So what, what are they doing to this? Ah, I can't do that again because the jacket isn't there anymore. I have no interactable point. Bullshit. Who's saying that? People? They say you kind of died for a moment, then you let your shit out already, but then they came back, so I guess that's what cool now. Just in think cause you got half your dick shut off and you're an invalid now. Kuno's gotta change you any different. Kuno doesn't re reward weakness, it's business as usual with Kuno. Kuno's cold like that. Feels good for some reason. Watch out, pick. It's dangerous word out there, but Kuno's got his eye on you. What's that supposed to mean? Kuno starts doing the I got my eye on you gesture repeatedly. Who knows? Yeah, Kuno would be helping me if uh, Kim did die. I think that's what it's referring to. I'm not getting going back inside there. I've got my things. My, my heels going for me. I've bought everything at Silings. I don't think there there will be new stuff here and in the pawn shop. Just like a little one-off sentences. Don't really assume it's going to take me anywhere. What else do we have? Uh, the harder core gem. That's that's difficult because I can't up interfacing anymore. So we have to to stop on that. And everything else I assume is on the island. So let's go towards the island. Let's speak to Lillian, the neck picker. Let's see if we ca caught a phasmid. Hmm. If we would. Uh, catch a phasmid it would be in the uh, in the trap uh, that we we uh, always thought it would turn up and so there ah let's not go after the phasmid if it is real uh, it's more like an achievement thing you can get I think So do you drive me over, or how does it work? Officer, what happened? You're limping. Why are you limping? You look terrible. 
You're not limping, you're you. She sounds almost disappointed with you, reprimanding you for falling and hurting your knee. I wasn't got shot in the foot, it was in the in the leg. I got shot in the foot, it was pretty badass, you would have liked it. Is this it. from the shooting in town? We heard gunshots. Not that we don't hear gunshots all the time, but they were closer than usual. There was an exchange of fire on the Rue de saint guilaine It's nothing to be worried about. saint guilaine Not Gislaine? Guilaine. You could have spoken that line a bit f uh, more soon <laughs> instead of at the end of the game. You didn't only get shot. I dodged the second shot. I can also get not well, shot. Good for you. You should see the other guys. They're all so dead. you're a killer. That's good, I guess. I guess. Better than being dead. I'm not a killer. I'm a cop. Aye, I guess you are. I understand. That's how it goes. I have a question of for course. you. Of course. Can I help you with something? We need to get to that island. That won't be a problem. It's Winston and the tar just dried. We got two days of rel relative sunshine ahead. What's on that island? I saw some kind of ruins through the binoculars. Mm, used to be some kind of fortification there before the war for the communards, an anti-aircraft gun, I think. Bombed two bits in the landing. I haven't been there myself. Always steer clear of it. Hasn't been there him herself. Who has then? Who has then, if not you? My husband used to drink there. Him and his drinking buddy also always seemed like a bad place to drink to me. People died there during the landing, you know. My mother told me. The kids sometimes go there too. I know they do on rafts. I tell them not to, but they bring back old bullet casings and such. Which kids? The twins? God forbid they bring uh, the girl along uh, on some rickety barge. Can we maybe ask her drinks about this place before we go? Would that be alright? Be my guest. Is there anything I should know about getting there? Well, most of it's sunk underwater, that means concrete underwater. Cut your boat if, if you're not careful. Be sure to enter from the south side. Water's deep there. Aye, aye, Captain. Two days of sunshine has just got a bacterial infection. I'm sad to hear that. Take care of that with either, will you? Don't get too many RC men, men around here. Be sad to lose the first one. Can we borrow your boat? If you promise to bring it back and no scraping the hull, it's just, I just got a nice and yellow and no drinking on the boat. And no jaw riding either. Of course, ma'am, it's only for a day or two. Official police business. Aye. What if I want a rock? See, that makes me not want to lend you my skiff. On a boat, rocking leads to capsizing. That they're, that they're absolutely 100% rock fee skiff. You got that? Thank you, we use the skiff to get there then. Please be conservative with the fuel, will you? It's all just a small tank. Okay, that's the boat. Okay. We'll take the boat later. Let's talk to the twins. What do you know about that island? Is this Lily your sister? Yes? Yes? Yes. That's it? You're being laconic about it? It doesn't look like she knows what is, he knows what it means. You must be Lillian's twins. Hmm? Lily is our mom. Okay, kids, you've been to that island, right? On that island? The one who's been busy kicking some his stone points to the bay? Yes, that one. I need to know what's there. Uh, it's um, nothing. It's just a sea fort and some plants. You can take a raft there. It's great. And and we make a fire. We make a fire. Mm, gather the sticks for the fire and bullets. Or not real bullets. Empty bullets. Bullet shells? But there are a lot of them left over from the war. But this could be important. Wait, you mean shells? I don't know what these are. What then? They are lights. The fire guy comes and asks us to put the fire out. Your nerve ending, ending sting from the mention of a guy. They must mean a human being on that island, but it's cut off. Someone lives on that island? No. Yes. Let's go with yes. Why is he the fire guy? Because, because he asks to put the fire out. Why does he ask you to put the fire out? I don't know. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like people to be there. You shouldn't go. Yes? You mentioned something about lights? I... One of the... It's... I don't know. Did you mean there are electrical lights? Um, yes. Is there anything else you can tell me about this guy? H, does he live there? No, he doesn't live there, I don't think. 
No, he lives there. He's been there twice, two times. Huh, he doesn't live there. He isn't, he isn't there sometimes. Anything else? They don't know how it... How he looked. We ran. Ah, uh, because they ran. Okay, he just yet we shouldn't be there. Your father used to go to that island too, didn't he? Our father killed himself. Don't say that, he didn't. Your father did not kill himself. I don't know. It does... It doesn't have even have anything to do with this. You, father, isn't a fire guy. The two things aren't connected. Your question doesn't make sense. Is that all you know? Is there anything more you can tell me about the island? There's, uh... It's clear that he has no intention of finishing uh, the sentence. Lights, fire guy, we should shut up on that island. Okay. We can go to the island. Uh, how many points do we have? Four again. We're not done with the wasteland of reality, though. I could just waste time reading books to get done with the wasteland of reality, thought. Let's save and then do that. Yeah. It was said that I can read books. Why, well, there's truly really no point. You'll never know who did it because those pages have literally been scattered to the wind. I just want to relive the experience. Ah. Uh. And you'll never know what happens because the rest of the book is gone. I can't surmise, can't I? If Moon goes to Jay, there wouldn't be 50 more of these books. What makes you think this isn't the final Dick Mullen case? Isn't there already a book uh, called Dick Mullen at the final case? How do you know this isn't the final final case? This could go on forever, and it now. I put the book away, and I'm down to 2 hours 45. And I'm reading the book again. And we're down to 44 minutes. Let's start reading another book. Uh, the That's just a quarter of an hour. Let's read that again. Pop quiz time. Let's see what you've learned. Let's do better this time. Who was the first innocence? The Perry Canessian? Who was the strongest innocence? Franco Negro. Who was the false innocence? Arno Pasternak. Who is the greatest? Dolores Day. Congratulations on finishing your testing. The rules and their subsequent grade have been calculated. You get an A. A all correct. Impressive. Oddly so. You really navigate some treacherous waters there. Well done. Got you this time. Not so smart anymore. Are you? Yeah, sure. It's so much easier once you know the answers, right? Yeah. That was, uh, was, uh, was, was what I was thinking. The Wasteland of Reality. Wow. Physical instrument, Internet Empire, and suggestion down, plus one psych. Congrats, you're sober. It will take a while for your body to remember how to metabolize anything that isn't sugar from alcohol, so you're going to be pretty ravenous soon. Eat plenty. You can expect your coordination balance to improve in a couple of weeks. In two months, you might start sleeping like a normal person. Full recovery will take years, though. It will be depressing and it will be boring. Don't expect any further rewards or hand claps. This is how normal people are all the time. No positive effects from alcohol, and I'm dead sober. But I got Psyche plus. Did it up the base? Yes, it did up the base, so the drugs really can raise that. That was a thing I wasn't so sure about, but they really permanently raise your stats. That's the first one that gives me, like, uh, 
How many are there? That gives me six points. Plus six points and minus three. Inland Empire and Suggestion are both in here. So it gives me four points in here. It gives me a point to Volition, Empathy, Authority and Esprit de Corps and takes one point from Electrochemistry? No, Physical Instrument. Because I can't sleep now. Yeah, but it's better than the thought itself. Okay, let's go to the uh, boat. Yeah. And let's ride the boat to that damn island where this game will end in the next episode. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Mm -hmm.